Hi folks, Bob Dale for Southern Remarketing in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell, gosh folks, we sell motorhomes, we sell trucks, we've sold hundreds and hundreds of diesel trucks on, on eBay in the past three or four years. Today we're going to list the dangest truck I've ever seen. This is proof positive that Dan will buy a steamboat 40 miles from water. Don't know what it's worth, don't have a clue, some of y'all will. It's a pretty cool truck though, we're going to show it to you. It's a 2010. 2010 Ford F-250 turbo diesel. Now it's a work truck, folks, but it's got windows, door locks, tilt, cruise, stereo, and all that in it. <laughs> it is sitting on an absolutely like brand new set of, of, of BF tires, Good Ranch BF commercial Good tires, TA tires. And those are expensive tires. It's got a couple little pings on it. I'm gonna show you that may or may not be set up and show up for sale. But I'm gonna pick it to death. We're gonna show you a truck that somebody out there desperately needs. <coughs> Rather than go pay ever how many $40,000 or whatever, for, uh, or 60 for a truck set up like this, you can get a bargain here, folks. You can see in here, windows, door locks, tilt and cruise, got a CD player. The interior is pretty nice. It seems to be a non-smoker's truck. It belongs to TCI, which is an, uh, a national company. I don't, I don't know what they did with it. It's a mobile semi-truck repair, yeah, it's only, tires. It's only got 160,000 miles on it. Now, all of this comes on it here. Uh, you can see all these beds and containers. Now, back here, the, this, is, this is your compressor and all. Now, they kept the engine that was there, but they left all the most expensive part of it. Uh, here's your tank up here for the, is that a propane? That's the, I guess that's the holding tank for the extra air because you got to have a lot of air. Yeah. And uh, so okay. it's got the big, the big pump and then you have a, uh, I guess a diesel or electric or gas motor, whatever you want to put in it. See all your cords and, and, and all that. So got gets, the hose reels, got the uh, tire cage when you're airing up a tire in case it explodes it doesn't kill you Whoever got the spotlights this, we'll about it. We do. there's a spot here i don't know if you can see or not it's got this like a tommy lift on the back that's basically what it is Jesus knows what this thing would cost hang on i'll flip it down. uh we're gonna run it up and down here you see it come out come down uh that's handy's three ball tom kit as I said, it's got more storage compartments. It's a 2010 model, folks. Uh, turbo diesel. And then you hang set, on, hang on. set this up right here. All right, slide that down. Flip that up. That's all there is to it. And uh, pop this safety pin in. And show these tires here, son. It's a pretty nice old truck. Uh, I, mean, are, I mean, they're, they're practical. BF Goodriches. Uh, you got all these boxes. You may or may not need them. Whoever needs all this will need these boxes. But I can tell you this, this is one expensive bed. You got the spotlights, corner lights, got all your... Here's your gauges for whatever's in there. That's your gauges for your uh, tank. You got your water separators. Uh, all your control switches for the motor. There's a spot right here on the truck. I don't know if it'll show up on this white truck or not, but look at it. Boy, if you've got a tire business or a motor bubble tire or a farm or any kind of repair whatever, business. Whatever, man, this truck is set up and ready to go. Or you I, could take all that stuff out of the back and sell it and have the, you a good uh, truck. The air is ice cold in it. Got a great ride and drive. Damn, it's gonna do you a ride and drive. Uh, if you well, let me tell you what we're going to do, folks. We're going to list this with a, a best offer. So we'll have a number out there. Pay no attention to it. That's just a number. Uh, you want to make an offer, send it to us. We'll either accept, count, or pay no attention to that number. We have to put a number out there. So that's the way we're going to sell it. We're open to any offer. You can give us a call. We're open to any offer on it. Uh, like I say, Dan's phone number, because I don't, uh, is 601-720-2857, 601-720-2857. We get hundreds of phone calls a day. If he doesn't answer your phone, he'll call you back or call him back, but we return all of our phone calls. As I said, folks, we don't know what this thing's worth. I know this truck by itself would cost in the 40-something 40, 40 thousand dollars, probably close. It's 50. got the 6.4 diesel. Yeah. 
50 at least, and that bed probably, gosh knows how many thousands of dollars that thing cost. But it's a pretty nice setup. It's just a working rig. If you know, all feel, whatever you do, you can use this. And if you can, I promise you, it is going to be a dead solid bargain. It's a 2010 Ford F-250. Only 160,000 miles, rides and drives perfect, ice cold air, everything works, sitting on a, like a brand new set of BF Goodrich tires with this gosh awful expensive bed and working uh, uh, system on it. So if you need something like this, give us a call. It's going to be a bargain. It's a truck you're going to like. We appreciate you watching our video. Look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you. Hi folks, Dan Dale here. You've been listening to my dad talk about this truck. Now I'm going to take you on the test drive. But before I do, just want to show you a couple things. First of all, we don't clean under hoods. This is just how it came into us. So you can see how nice the shape is in under the hood. It's been pretty well maintained. You can see the score supports had impact uh, had an impact gun on it. What that means is the radiator's already been replaced. So that's one other thing you don't have to worry about. And finally, this truck doesn't have any blow-by. Now it's got the usual smoke that every 6.4 in the world has. Check back with my other videos on 6.4s. They all smoke, even low mileage ones. But the main thing with smoke is, as long as it's not puffing, you're fine. This one ain't puffing. But the biggest thing is, you can see I set the oil fill cap down on the, uh, the fill, and it doesn't blow off. If your oil fill blows off, that means you got a wore out engine that's letting cylinder compression get past the piston rings and you just got problems. So uh, anyway, no blow by. Now I'm gonna take you on a test drive. Okay folks, we're in the truck now. You can see only one warning light lit, low tire pressure. Um, I'll check the tires. One of them's probably a few pounds low. Worst case, it may need a sensor, so um, not a big deal. You'll have to excuse my shaky camera work because I'm driving with one hand and filming with the other on some of the very worst roads in the city of Jackson. So the video may come out a little shaky, but rest assured, in person, this truck drives great, doesn't bounce you around, nothing like that. and. One thing you can take away from these terrible roads I'm driving on is that this truck is tight. It's not got a bunch of squeaks and rattles and uh, problems. So uh, everything in it's tight. This truck drives like one that's got way less miles. Of course, the good thing about what it's been used for is that, you know, it's been spending all this time running up down the interstate doing service calls. It hadn't been, um, you know, sitting around running errands and doing short trips and stuff like that. So um, that is the good thing about it. Now, of course, the best part about this truck is it's been deleted. Now, the DPF is gone now. The DPF is the diesel particulate filter, or some people call it the soot filter. And on newer trucks, they use that regen fluid to clean it, which is fine. It's still a little bit of a restriction, but it's not as big a deal. The problem with the 6.4s is that the way Ford decided they would clean the filters is to just dump extra fuel into the engine and let that burn it out. And of course, that had two problems. First of all, it just kills the fuel economy. It, because uh, you're just pouring fuel down the tailpipe basically and second of all if you don't stay on top of your service then eventually the all that extra fuel will start working its way into the crankcase it'll thin your oil out and what will end up happening is that uh, you'll you'll have other problems caused by thin oil so what we've done, we've deleted the DPF. So what that does for you is you pick up anywhere from five to seven miles per gallon right off the bat. 
just because you're taking that restriction out of the exhaust and you're not dumping fuel down the exhaust and second of all you uh you're helping the longevity of the engine you're taking away that source of uh problems so the other thing about it is now we've got the power on stock but you can turn the power up or you can leave it stock whatever you do with the power it doesn't affect the um, doesn't affect the fuel economy but you can turn this engine up as high as 650 horsepower now stock it's got 350 which you know let's be honest that's plenty but if you're like me you can't have too much of a good thing and so you can crank the power up now where I would suggest leaving it you can put it on 80 extra horsepower on a on a tow setting it helps boost up the torque maximizes the the fuel economy and gives you extra power and the other cool thing is in normal driving it doesn't smoke it doesn't do anything weird you wouldn't know it from stock but if you hit the gas just in a certain a certain way like somebody gets on your bumper roll some coal on them put that smoke down get them right off your tailgate it is way handier than you might imagine being able to do that so now if you don't want to do that we can turn the smoke completely down to where it never does it but where we got to set it now it only does it when you want it to do it which is really that's the best way to go if you want to fly in drive this truck home you are more than welcome to do so I would not hesitate to get in this truck and drive it anywhere it fires right up hot or cold doesn't uh, run rough when it's cold or you know do anything weird like that all that's good on it we'll, if you want to fly in we'll pick you up at the airport no extra charge we'll bring you back to our place do all the paperwork feedback and stuff and uh, let you get on the road make it a smooth easy deal we've done it thousands of times so we know what we're doing on the other hand we know not all of you have time to fly in and drive one home and so with that in mind we can't help you with shipping now if you go online and look up shipping costs don't be scared off by those estimates you get because if you're not in a hurry or depending on how much of a hurry you're in I should say we can save you as much as half off those estimates and the way we do it simple most of these shippers you see online they don't really have a fleet of trucks they're not the actual drivers they're just brokers and they'll charge you two or three hundred dollars and all they're doing is getting on this one website and posting your shipment well we've cut out the middleman and we've signed up and we pay a pretty ludicrous amount of money to be on this website to where we can post them directly ourselves and what that does you save several hundred dollars right off the bat and um, like I said if you're not in a hurry we can put a low ball price in and wait till somebody's got an extra spot on their trailer they want to fill and we'll cut a deal or if not we're still going to save you money right off the bat by cutting out the middleman so you'll have that going for you if you want to uh, have kind of a ballpark on shipping you can text me or email me your zip code and which vehicle you're interested in I can give you a pretty close ballpark to what it's going to cost to ship it so just something to uh, to keep in mind if you have any questions about it feel free to call me if you have any questions about DPF deletes, how those work, uh, you know, the power settings and all that good stuff, just call me. I'll be glad to talk to you about it and explain how it all works. Or if you have any questions, period, you want to make an offer, call me. My number is 601-376-9869. 
be glad to talk to you about it. You can see we've been driving nearly 10 minutes. No engine lights, no brake lights, no airbag lights. Still got that tire pressure light. I'm 95% sure that'll be fixed before you pick it up, but just in case I forget or something, I want to point it out so nobody gets mad at me. But beyond that, everything in the truck works, windows locks, tilt crews. You can see, obviously, uh, the wipers work. We, we established that. And uh, like I said, the, the radiator recall has been done to this truck, so you don't have to worry about that. Windshield, no cracks in it. All that's in good shape. And, uh, you know, if you live in Florida or you're within where you can drive to Atlanta or Dallas, we can also get you a, just a streaming deal on shipping to one of those three areas. So that's something else to, uh, to keep in mind. So that being said, if you have any questions about this truck, call me. I'd be glad to talk to you about it. Otherwise, we appreciate you watching the video. And we look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you.